Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3D P, and today I'm continuing my work on my Ender 3 S1 I purchased off eBay Broken. And today I'm going to be installing a professional firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring the Minimal 3DP channel and this video in particular. Okay, so what I'm going to do to install professional firmware is I've gone to the professional firmware site and I'm just going to go over to the releases. And I think I'm on the special configuration, so I just want the regular. And on the right hand side here, I'm just going to click releases. I'm going to scroll down. Now there's several different versions of the firmware for the S1. There's the one with the STM32F103 and STM32F401. They're delineated in the releases as F1 for the 103 and F4 as the 401. Now scrolling down, I'm just looking for the F1. I've confirmed what I have running in my printer. And so I have the 103 board. So I'm just going to download this bin file. And so I've downloaded the bin file. Now I want to go and do the display. So let's download that at the same time. So I'm scrolling down the release page and I'm going to open up this page here. And this gives us the screen uh, information. Now, in order to get this, let me switch over. And what we're going to do is take a look at the screen and figure out which of these versions we need. So let me switch over and we'll take a look at my desk. OK, so if we look at the screen, I have Let me show you which version I have. So taking a look at the display firmware, I actually have this screen. So if we look at my desk, You'll see here's the sticker up here. So hard to see, I can't get the focus. So that's the DACAI screen. So I've downloaded that set of firmware. And then what I'm going to do is go down here and get this compilation because I like pretty colors. So what I'm doing is I'm downloading the whole repository. This will take a couple of minutes. And then I'll just move the files off the out of the zip over onto my SD card. Now I'm going to update the screen first, and then I'll switch over and do the board. But I've already downloaded the correct firmware for the board. Now I'm just waiting for the screen stuff to download. Okay, so as you can see, I've downloaded the folder I need. I'm just going to display assets, this compilation. And then I'm just going to copy the private folder over onto my SD card. So again, based on my screen, I'm just going to copy this private, click copy, and then let me plug in my SD card and we'll make the move. So I plugged in the SD card, copy the folder over the SD. And I'm just going to paste the private folder. Now, depending on what screen I want to do, I want the actual folder there. So now I'm going to hit eject and take the SD card. And let's go to my desk. Now, what I'm going to do is take the SD card. And that's going to be slipped in right here. So that's seated in there. So let's go over to the printer. I'll plug this in. And then we'll start the screen and see what it does. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is an awesome service that lets you design and then they build for you PCB boards. One of their awesome features is you can go to their instant quote, you can upload a Gerber file, and then based on the parameters you put in, they'll give you an instant quote. Okay, so I have the screen sitting here plugged in. 
if I remember correctly, this should flash orange. So I'm just going to turn it on. So this is loading. So it's looking correct. And it says update finished. So I should be good to go. Let me turn it off. So I've turned this off. I'm going to put the back back on here and then we'll flash the firmware. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Verifying that's the F1 version and that matches my card. So let's eject. And now I'm going to go over to the printer and run the install. Below the firmware, I've inserted the SD card. Now I'm going to flip the printer's power on. We're going to watch the screen. It should take about 15 seconds or so for the firmware to load. So it takes a minute. As you can see, once it's completed, that little screen props up and says about the professional firmware. So at this point, the printer is totally updated. Now what I'm going to do is move the camera back. And let's take a quick look at just homing the printer just to make sure that works. And then in another video, I'll show you how to configure and set up this prayer. We still have a couple small fixes to make. I need to put the bed on. I need to put the filament spool on. Let me move the camera and we'll take a look. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the printer on. So we can test this real quick. We're going to go to prepare. Scroll down to auto bit, auto home. We'll just let this home real quick. As you can see, I still need to put the PEI sheet on. Up at the top, I still need to put the filament sensor on. Now, looking at the printer, it's homing correctly, so that's excellent. Now, what I'm going to do is pause for the day, and in my next video, we'll just go over how to... We'll put the new PEI sheet on, we'll install the filament runout sensor, and then do the basic configurations of this printer, just so you can see how to do it. Because again, I'll follow up with my older videos about the professional firmware. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I thank you again for your time, and I'll talk to you soon. This is Mike again. If you're having trouble with your 3D printer, I'm putting a link in the video description of how you can schedule a 15-minute consult with me. I'm more than happy to sit down with you, see if we can figure out what the problem is, see if we can get your printer rolling. Also, if you would like to support the channel, I've enabled memberships. And so for a small monthly contribution, you can help support my work. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do is use any money, and same for the advertising I get for the channel, I'm going to use that to buy more 3D printers and more equipment and more technology that I could use here on the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.